To run room setup for your SteamVR system, click on SteamVR in the SteamVR window. Go to the top where it says Room Setup, click on that. This window will appear. You want to click on Standing Only. First step is to establish tracking. Make sure that your headset is visible by both light boxes, which should be set up diagonally from each other. Then click Next. I suggest putting your headset on top of your seat facing the steering wheel. Then press Calibrate Center. Then click Next. Leaving it sitting there, put in 24 inches and calibrate floor. Click Next and you are done with room setup. If you already have an account set up on the system, just type in your username and your password and press Log In to log into the system. This will automatically take you to the first exercise. If you don't have an account already set up, press Create New. Input your first name, your last name, a username, password, and press Create New. If you're the administrator, type in admin, insert the administrator password, and press log in. This will bring you up to the standard menu with a few extra options. From here, you can go into simulator settings, change if you wish to have the mirrors active, the blue reverse light active, the exercise 1 and 2 being a straight line or circle, and the top speed of the forklift. After changing the settings, press Save, then Escape to back out of that menu. To reset a user password, click Reset User Password. Choose the user from the list. Insert a new password. And press Change Password. Then press Escape to back out of that menu. To view all users' data, press User Data. Select the user you wish to look at. Click the dates to see each exercise from that login date. Press Email User Data and choose your date range to email that user's data straight to you. Type in who you wish to send it to and press Send. To email all user data, press Email All User Data. Select your date range, press Email, put who you want to send it to, and press Send. To print a single user's data, click on that user, press Print User Data. This will open a text document where you can just press Control-P, select your printer, and print. To leave this menu, press Escape. These three settings are user-specific. Each user can have them set however they want. This first toggle gives you the ability to turn off the motion sickness reduction shields. The second toggle enables and disables the audio instructions that play step-by-step step while you complete each exercise. The third toggle allows the user to disable use of the Vive camera when they look down to see where their feet are at. When you are done changing settings and wish to go to the first exercise, press Escape to escape from the menu, then come to the bottom right corner and press Continue. This will take you to the first exercise. After doing the update, in order to use the camera on the front of the Vive, go to SteamVR, go to Settings, go to Camera, click Enable Camera, click OK, then Restart SteamVR. Then, once it's come back up, make sure your camera rate is down at the very bottom at 30 Hz. When you sit down at the forklift and notice that the forklift is off-centered, Remove the headset, press in both paddles on the steering wheel, put the headset into the steering wheel, and press the Xbox button. This will align the virtual forklift with your physical forklift. If you notice that your hands are swapped, pressing the S key will swap them and save them for future exercises.
To select exercises outside of this normal method you see on the screen, pressing the exercise number on the keyboard will bring up the exercise. Pressing 2 on the keyboard will bring up exercise 2. To reset an exercise that you're in, fully press in the brake pedal and press the Xbox button. Pressing the instruct button when first starting off will give you the first instruction. Please buckle your seat belt by flipping the switch on the control panel. Turn the ignition switch to start the forklift. Put the forklift in forward. Drive through the speed bump gate between the cones. As you do each step, the next step will play. Turn left and drive through the next gate. Turn right and drive through the next gate. Turn left and drive through the next gate. Continue driving through the cones. Well done. Press the parking lever and switch off the ignition. Press parking button again for menu. To help reduce motion sickness, we eliminated all unnecessary objects from each exercise. Change colors of the walls and floors to make them darker colors. Added in a false nose to have a reference point for your vision. Added blinders on either side of the screen when moving to limit field of view. When turning, your speed is reduced by 50%. The headset camera is enabled when the user looks down at their lap or feet and disabled automatically when they look up. This allows the user to view their hands and feet in the real world on the simulator controls. In exercise 8, people moving around the warehouses now have orange vests and white hard hats.